We're putting together um, an exhibition for the County Museum in Tralee and it's called uh, This Is Me. So we're really kind of gathering their work uh, that we're making over a um, kind of four month period. We started with portraits, now we're kind of looking, exploring different ideas of This Is Me. It could be objects that are attached to something in the room, it could be um, a story they want to tell, it could be through pictures or a bit of writing. Some kids are looking at the idea of a little comic strip. The younger kids, for them, it's really uh, just getting them to explore the different materials and, and the older kids are uh, exploring a bit deeper, obviously, uh, the idea of self and different types of portraits. I think of lava, so then I just did um, when lava is dripping down. Um, I think of volcanoes when I wanted to do that and here I put a lot of paint here and then it started dripping so um, David actually gave me that idea. Um, um, it reminds me of that time when I was walking outside and it, it was dark and it felt so cool with the wind and it felt nice and I, 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 I was swinging on my swing and it, reminded, it, it reminds me of this um, painting. It's very blue, and the sun is gone, and it feels like you're just calm, and you're swimming in the ocean. David is all about process, and that is the very important thing within this, that we're not looking for finished pieces, in a sense, but the process to get there, to explore, and to be given time to imagine and to create and to just use the materials. There's that real intention to make something wonderful. And even if it's not finished, that's absolutely fine. Something I learned in college was take something, do something to it, do something to it again and repeat. I really like that kind of idea. For all these kind of workshops, we want them to have fun and enjoy the process and just getting kind of totally immersed in it um, and not having a competitiveness about like the outcome. At the end result is, 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 is a bonus. There's, here's a tree and here's a, like a hot air balloon, but you have to go inside the circle. And this is a house, but with a big long chimney. And there's also two balloons and one human's head and a floating mask. I did it with twistables. When people look at this, I want them to think that a very good artist drew this. A big part of our workshops is giving that kind of time to enjoy the workshop, enjoy the process, not worry too much about the end result. And in that way, maybe they're kind of capture something different and get some interesting results. We had one great day together in the museum and it was fabulous for us to really get to know the parents, to see the parents with their children. There's a sense within this project that families came together to make it happen. I like painting blue. I like, I like painting, painting rainbow. And stars and hearts and the sky and the sunny day. Yeah, there's stars. Yellow, white stars and some colorful skies. It's galaxy because I like galaxy and I think all the girls can go to galaxy and all the boys can go to space. I had to use the colors, right? I had to draw myself with ink. First I colored it, then I just like drawed myself with the ink. I draw my face and my body, like my shirt. Mm. I did a smiley face because I didn't want it to be sad.
I used some of the colors of the sunlight and I got this idea from when I look at the sun all the time. And, and I did with um, a black, black paint. It's, a bir it's some birds and the water, the same color as the sun, and the sun is a rainbow, and the, the rainbow color is going into the water. And I got this rainbow here, and there's blue in spots over here. And the back line is purple, and green in there. Marco left to my school. <laughs> Marco, thank you. <laughs> Marco, thank you. <laughs> he went to the cinema. Uh, Terra Nova. I just used Lots of colors. I used brushes, sponges, rollers, and then I just put a smiley face in the middle. And I like it because it has a nice color and it has black around it. You know, we want to make maybe six pieces each for the exhibition, but then you can pick your the favorite ones you want to be part of it. You know, so learning to choose what what will work well uh, for it. And we asked them to put their favorite piece on the wall. And from there, we were able to build a show around their favorite pieces. So today we're hanging the show, bringing the show together, making sure that all the different processes that were explored as the workshops rolled out, making sure all the different art techniques, that they're all represented in the show so that the audience can enjoy a riot of color, see the various forms that were explored, and get a sense of how much effort and how much hard work on the part of the participants, and how that ensued across the year to 18 months that we've been working with, with this project. This painting is called the Picasso. Um, it's cool and I like it. I got it from this guy, David, told me. He like does dots and stuff and then, and then I just added a portrait of me kind of. And then, yeah. Enjoying my dad. Not to draw my babysitter. She has a really small head. Curly hair. And handy. Pink, yellow, 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 pink, yellow. I, I was playing in the candy. That is fruit salad candy. When you start something as wonderful as, as this, you don't turn it off. We've got 23 young people who really want to explore their own creativity and to continue creating and to keep working on that. More than one young person in this mix have said, I want to be an artist. So what's the plan? You're going to try and help that young person to develop that opportunity within their life. And these workshops are about making sure that those opportunities will happen down the line. That if art becomes something that is so meaningful to the individual within the group, that they're given every opportunity to explore it further. We want it to be open to all children, you know, it's not, you don't have to be kind of good at art or love art. It should be open to all. When there's that openness, it can be a lot of chaos um, within the workshop. But, um, but kids are loving it, like, you know. Mm -hmm.